Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. According to your time, wherever you are, I bless everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We appreciate, we thank God, we appreciate God for His goodness and His mercy that is dwelling upon our life. We, have, we need to appreciate God, wherever you are, appreciate God. Give God the praise, give God the honor as you do that. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The first time you come across my video, please and please do not fail to, to, to subscribe to the red button. Anytime I upload a new video, you get in the description page. As you do that, may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you don't subscribe, keep on sharing to your friends to your family to your loved ones as you do that may god bless you in the mighty name of uh, jesus christ please also follow me on my facebook page when i love tv follow me like and follow as you do that may god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ so before we start uh, this word of uh, encourage let's just say short of prayer almighty god we thank you we bless his name we worship you we adore you because you are worthy to be praised we thank you for your grace that sustains us to be, uh, to be alive today father we thank you almighty god we thank you we thank you for your strength and your mercy that dwell upon us oh god father king of glory and everything every activity we are going to do today father we come into your bow in the mighty name of jesus christ or you come and have your way we thank you for your grace and your mercy in our life in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name i pray amen so today's topic before i, I will start going to church i just want to say this, this word of uh, word of encourage to to my brother and my sister had there as to, as we do that may god bless us in the mighty name of jesus christ today's topic is a it's a middle of this middle of the storm the middle of the storm when you are in the middle of the storm what do you want? Don't, what 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 how are you going to um um how, how are you going to uh take it when you are in the middle of the song? So let's find out. When you go to the book of 20, uh, John 20, uh, 14, verse 27, there it says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give you. There is telling us that the, the peace I give to God is telling us that he said, He give us the peace. And the peace we shall live, and the peace we shall, he, he shall, he, he will give us peace, and the, he will also leave the peace in our body and our soul. He will also leave that peace in our home. Like it's not the word, the word, the, not the peace that the world gave you, but when the world gave you peace, not that that peace is not permanent. There will, you must, there, will, there must be a something. The reason why they give you something, you cannot, they cannot give you for free. But when God give you peace, His peace is everlasting. It's everlasting. He said, "Peace I give unto you, and peace He shall." live with you so may that be peace that god live with us may that be permanent in you and i in the mighty name of uh, jesus uh, G, uh, jesus he said unto you let not your heart be troubled neither neither let it be afraid he said he said as far he give us peace we should not let our heart be troubled we should not be afraid even though that we are in the middle, middle of that problem we should not be get afraid even with that we are in the middle of that uh, uh, danger we should not be afraid he said we should not let our heart be troubled there's a situation that your heart will be beating you will be you will be thinking between your life beating but when you invite that peace into you when that peace comes to you everything will be stained everything will be calm so so that that you will that there will not be a space to you to, to have to be trouble. There will not be a space for you to be afraid. So let peace that God gives to us. Let us let us let us that peace dwell in, dwell in us. Let us invite that peace in our home. You know, any fear of our life, as we do that, may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace is very important element in our life. We all we all need peace. Yes, peace is very important. Without peace, we are nothing. Without peace, we are nothing. Peace is very important. When home has, when that home has peace, when that home is has peace, nothing can put that home down. Nothing can bring, uh, 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 put that uh, separate that whole that marriage. When that when that peace is in, in, in that marriage, when that peace is at a home. So in every area of our life, we all need peace because why? That peace is very important. As we do that, may God bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ a marriage business home and office among others yes in marriage in office in our uh, business in every life, we all need that peace we all need that peace in our in our life we need peace because peace is very very important as we continue to invite that peace in our home may god bless us in the mighty name of jesus christ one of the reasons why jesus came into the world is to bring peace yes the reason with the god almighty our creator sent jesus to come and die for us is for us to have that peace because he, he know that that peace we own we need that peace so that is why he gave us that peace and he lived the, and he lived that peace in in our home so when we when we let that peace dwell in our hope in every area of our life in the mighty name of uh, jesus christ he said peace he said he said 
peace I live with you. The peace Jesus brings is not of this world. The peace of this world is based on a condition, a circumstances and condition. Yes, the peace that God brings is not the peace of this world. Because when the world gave you peace, there must be a condition. There must be a circumstances. When the world gives you peace, but when God gives you peace, there will not there will not be a condition. There will not be a circumstances in that peace. Because why? That God is peace. That peace is everlasting. You understand? So, my brother, and my sister, invite God. To, I invite God. Put your trust in God. If I allow God to bring that peace in your home, when you come dedicate yourself to, to, to God, He will surely give you, will surely find that peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some years ago, I was I was on a plane traveling. During the flight, well, we, we heard a loud noise and uh, uh, laminating from the engine of the plane. See, there was a man. He was traveling. As he was traveling, they now heard a, a loud voice coming from the play. You understand? They were not eliminating. They were not discussing. It's not that uh, a flight that is. Um, is there something that is? They said, "Is this? Is this? Uh, there is the flight. There was a noise coming from the from the. So there was a uh, uh, laminating. We could tell those. The, we could tell there was a something wrong. Uh, wrong suddenly people start to panic yes they will not decide they'll not be saying there's something wrong in this flight so there was be there they not be panicking you know, so when you see something something where some they were somewhere and you see something the environment it, it looks strange you will give people panic you'll be uh um you'll be afraid so the, the people the people now start uh people now there was panic from some 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 uh, stranger reason, so there was panic for the strength because due to that uh, uh, noise, so they not be uh, there was uh, af um, afraid. I kept calm, so the man kept calm. One woman turned to me and asked and asked. Are you not afraid? So they would they say, among the uh, the people in the flight, one of them uh, came to Jesus, uh, come to uh, the man, say, Are you not afraid? Because we did not see all of us were panic, but you did not uh, um afraid. The man now replied, like replied to the uh, woman, Are you not the man say, Are you not afraid? Not answer, answer, answer the woman, said yes, I'm not af uh, afraid because. We cannot die. He was telling the woman that I'm I'm not afraid because why we cannot die. He was you know, you imagine when you are so weird. Somebody will just tell you that he is he's telling you that no, we are not die. You know how you you will, you will be surprised. Ah, how could this man is telling we are not uh, we are not going to uh, uh, die. We cannot die. She turned to a, re a session of the passage and said there was a man. There was a man here. Who say we cannot die? So he now turned to the crowd, was telling they say there's a man among us here that said we shall not die, we shall not uh, 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 die. And 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 suddenly they gather around me and uh, ask. So all of them now gather around the 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 the, the, uh, the man. We are asking the man, ah, I will, is it true? I will not going to die. I will I will going to die. Is it true? There was all of them was asking the the man. Is it true there was not there there will be no death? So the man was saying that no, there will not be nobody will die. We cannot die. We cannot die. What kind of relationship do you have with God? That when you are in that problem, when you, you will start bold and when something is happen, you will have that encourage to also encourage people. Say, yeah, this thing we will not we will not we are not going to die. We are not going to die. What relation do you have with God? Because you need to have that relationship with God, it's very, very important. So yes, we I, I was calm in the middle in the in the midst of the uh, child. He was calm in that midst of nowhere. You know where I saw in when a situation where you know when you look up, look down, when you look left, look down, you, you will not see help. So he was still, you want it stands still. You know, you know when you say when you see some uh, river, you know sometimes you like, say river, sometimes a period, the river will stand, it will stand still, it will calm. We, there will not be uh, the wave. It will start. It will calm. So the man was. Uh, it was. It, it was calm. You understand. So why? Because the 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 peace of God is the person called the Holy Spirit. So he was saying why it was calm because the spirit of uh, God is a spirit of a person called um a person called a uh, spirit. You understand? He said the peace of God is a person called the Holy Spirit. 
So the man was, he was still, because why? He had relationship with God. The Holy Spirit was inside, inside him. That is why the Holy Spirit was controlling him. That is why he was still, he never uh, afraid. So what, what, what situation are you, pass, are you passing through? That you said, you, you think that all hope is lost. Be stand still, don't be afraid. I said, may God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, David in David in the midst of the uh, anniversary enjoying peace. He said in his he said in the in Psalm four verse eight, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. So understand? He said he said. When you want to go and sleep, lie down with peace. Let peace reign inside your heart. But when you when you when you sleep with peace, when you wake up in the morning, you look good because why peace reign it dwell upon you. As you tell me, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Only make me dwell in a safe because when you have that peace in you, it will make you when you wherever you are, it will make you be safe because why that peace of God is with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is based on your relationship, not the circumstances. It based on the relationship that you have with God. Now, which what kind of relationship do you have with God? If you don't, if you don't, if you know you don't have a relationship with God, my brother, my sister, you have to do it now before it's too late. Allow God to come to you. Have that relationship with God. Don't have a relationship with any any man. Man will not help you. Woman will not help you. It's only Jesus. It's only God Almighty. Jesus, you can find that relation that, that will lead you to your destination. That will lead you to be. That will lead you to that uh, heaven that we are we are all uh, planning uh, planning to. Because it's by in grace. When you allow that yourself, when you do the spirit of doing God, doing yourself in the spirit of in God. He will take you to where you where you, where you want when he wants you to be. I said that may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, you can be married and suffer from uh security. Although everything may not be normal, yes, when you have when you marry, you find problem because you just know that sometimes there must be a problem in your in your marriage. You understand? But all you need to do is you need to have uh, invite peace to so peace to rape because peace is very important. As you do that, may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. However, you can be calm and happy in the middle of the child. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? When God is with you, when God be with you, when you ask peace in your in your when you be when you ask God to give you peace, nothing can pull you down. You cannot be afraid. So do that. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God will give you strength of every, the strength. The strength that God gives you is a life a lifetime. You know, because without strength, we cannot do anything. Let the strength of God and the peace of God come to reign in you and I in the mighty name of in the mighty name of uh, Jesus uh, uh, Christ. Always be happy when you find peace. Always be happy. When and don't be afraid when you go to Psalm 17, verse uh, Psalm 17, verse 1, say that is the kind of peace God brings. Yes, when you have that peace in you, you will not be afraid, you will stand still. Nothing will pull you down. Even though you are in the middle of the storm, you will start to because why? The peace of God is with you. Because why? You have that relationship with God. You know the kind of relationship that you have with God. So my brother and my sister, know the kind of relationship we have with God. So when, when you are in trouble, when you are in problem, you will start to not be afraid. As you do, may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This year, may you encounter peace in your life, marriage, business, and art in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, this year, we all will encounter peace peace in your marriage in your home your office in every area of your life this year you are now your cut and cut out peace as we do that may god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ cut it cultivate relationship with the holy spirit and experience the peace of god and passing all understanding in jesus name yes Allow peace to reign. When peace reign in your home, when peace reign in every area of your life, you will you will not be you will, everything you inside your heart you will be happy. Everything around you will be happy because why? The peace of God will reign in your heart. So my brother, my sister, what kind of relationship do you have with God? What kind of relationship do you have with Jesus? Make up your mind before it's too it's too late. There is no repentance in the grave. You and I, there is no repentance in the grave. All we need to do is for us to have that strong relationship with God. Don't go and have relationship with any man. Man. May not help you, woman will not help you. So let God can help you. So, my brother, my sister, make up your mind wherever you are. Invite, invite God into your in your life. Have that strong relationship with God. It's only God can lead you to your destination. It's only God can give you life. God can make. He say when he say when he give you riches, he had no sorrow. It's only God can give you riches. He will have no sorrow. What are you looking for, my brother, my sister? That you think that all hope is lost? Nah. 
Invite God into your life. When you have that peace in you, I believe you believe that everything will come to pass. All what we are, all what we are looking for, emotionally come to pass. And as as far the peace of God reign up, it reign in our heart, in our body, and our soul. All, all, all our heart desire, God will grant it us for you and I in the mighty name of uh, Jesus Christ. So my brother, my sister, please, whatever you are, please continue for this, this video. As you do that, may God bless you. Subscribe to the already red button. As you do that, may God bless you. I don't have time. I see you next time when I come again in Jesus' name. Amen.